The numbers tell the story. Batteries using lithium iron phosphate batteries accounted for nearly 60% of total production for vehicles in China during 2021. And that was a big shift versus the year before. A recent report in the Wall Street Journal claims that the key reason for the emergence over the last 12 months of lithium ion phosphate batteries is Elon Musk. Is this true? Well, let's get into it and actually find out. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and you are watching the YouTube channel that makes more videos about electric cars than anyone else, and batteries as well, by the way. Now, I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Great to have all these new subscribers here. Welcome to all of you. Welcome back to everyone else. Today, my face is a bit red because I've been out in the sun all day while my boys raced a big BMX race. Today, they both did really well, and it was great to see them. I was a bit nervous for them because there was quite a few big crashes at these sorts of big events. All the boys take it really seriously, and that often leads to some pretty spectacular crashes. Fortunately, no crashes here, so I can breathe easy again after actually six races over the last nine days. It's been a pretty full-on nine days. Now, I have been curious. How are all these YouTubers keeping their skin the exact same color every single time they make a YouTube video. Do these guys go in the sun? Do these guys, are they vampires? I don't understand it. Somebody tell me in the comment section below how they're doing it. Is it makeup? I don't know. Now, is Tesla and Elon Musk responsible for the emergence over the last 12 months? Not just the emergence, but the um, shift, the very strong shift in the industry, the pivot in the industry, the change to LFP batteries away from lithium ternary batteries. Well, I, as you know, if you're a long time watcher of the channel, not that this channel has been around very long, about eight months, but if you've been watching me for a while now, you'd know, because I've mentioned many times that Elon Musk said that he believes LFP batteries are the battery chemistry of the future. And this was, by the way, not a question about solid state batteries. This was a question about comparing lithium ternary batteries, NCA and NCM chemistries, versus LFP batteries. Now, interestingly, obviously, Tesla has sold a lot of standard range cars this year with LFP batteries in them. And it was around about the middle of the year when Elon Musk did say via tweet that LFP batteries are the battery chemistry of the future. And it was at that point in which the Chinese industry, for the first time in history, was led by LFP batteries. In other words, the sale of LFP batteries during about the middle of the year eclipsed for the first time in history the sale of ternary batteries. And that trend continued all through the year to the point in which actually in December, LFP extended its lead over ternary. So that gap is actually growing now. And remember... LG Chem, the world's second largest battery company who have never actually been able to make lithium ion phosphate battery chemistries due to patents in China. Now they can, but they have said that in order to gain back their title as the world's biggest battery manufacturer, they will pivot to LFP batteries and they'll have LFP batteries coming out very soon. Will, will LG Chem actually regain their lead over CATL and become the world's largest battery manufacturer again. I would say that if you're a betting man, you've got about a 1% chance of that happening. Very unlikely. CATL now are just, they're just kicking too many goals. I mean, how can you compete with the fact that CATL said to Tesla, okay, we're going to build out 70 gigawatt hours of batteries in a new factory for you. And they did it in three months. That's just something that nobody can compete with. It's impossible. I just don't see that ever changing. And this is what's happening in China right now. The Chinese government, municipality, not just the Chinese dictatorship, communist government, but also these local governments, they're also making it very easy, life as easy as they can for these battery companies and car companies to exist in China and to expand as quickly as possible. And what's happening as a result, electric cars are becoming cheaper in China, becoming more and more popular. The sales of electric cars increased by 150% or about 145% in 2021 versus 2020. Now, what did that mean? Well, a lot of those were BYD vehicles. A lot of them were K car, you know, those little quadricycle type, small, small little hatch electric cars. And both of those, BYD and those K cars, pretty much solely come with lithium iron phosphate LFP chemistry batteries. In addition to that, you've got Tesla selling more and more of them. And all of a sudden people are starting to say, well, actually, you know what? The range of lithium ternary batteries is a bit deceptive because when you get your battery pack right and you think, well, uh, the range might be 600 kilometers, just to pick a number out of a hat, right? But 
you're actually only really meant to charge them to maybe a maximum of 90% unless you absolutely have to for a road trip. Realistically, the real world everyday range of LFP batteries is 100% because you can charge them to 100% constantly. There's no issues with degrad battery de causing battery degradation by charging them to 100%, but there always is with lithium ternary batteries. So if you actually drop that 10% off the range of your lithium ternary batteries, and then you compare batteries once again, the ranges are not as different as what people think. In addition to that, the energy density of LFP batteries is improving. So is it just Elon Musk causing this to happen or just Tesla causing this to happen? Absolutely not. Has it affected the industry? Most certainly it has affected the industry, but it's been a confluence of different things. Tesla coming out and selling LFP batteries, Elon Musk promoting them, BYD selling them, these batteries coming in K cars, the cheap, small cars that many consumers in China can afford. By the way, just for example, Wuling Hong One Mini sold more than 50,000 of these in December alone, only in China. That's a huge number, right? In addition to that, you've got companies like CATL, right? Building out enormous capacity for LFP batteries. And another very, very important thing happened this year. For two different car companies, we had debacles. Hyundai, you're probably forgetting, but there was a multi-billion dollar recall for their lithium ternary batteries, potentially causing fires. And in some cases, they did. In addition to that, we had the even bigger debacle with LG Chem, lithiums there with their lithium ternary batteries in the Chevy Bolt. And well, as you know, if you've seen some of my videos, especially the one where I showed the video of a Chevy Bolt spontaneously catching fire, self-combusting right outside a General Motors dealership. Pretty bad marketing for the company, obviously. And in addition to that, Chevy, what do they do? Well, General Motors, what do they do? They went and shut down that factory. It's been shut since August of last year, still not open yet. So, well, that is pretty bad marketing for ternary batteries. Unfortunately, even though this is still isolated events, even though petrol fires are still about, I think, 12 times more likely. So far more likely that your car, if you drive an ice car, will set itself on fire than if you drive a battery car, it will, even in spite of these instances happening here. But still, we know that these fires don't happen in LFP batteries. Now, I've had a few people email me saying, hey, Sam, did you see that there were some fires in BYD cars in Norway? And there's a couple of different fires, right? But guess what? Those specific models all had lithium ternary batteries. LFP batteries are unquestionably a far safer option to lithium ternary batteries. Another big advantage that consumers are discovering recently is while BYD offers a 500,000 kilometer warranty on its battery, the average warranty in the industry is 160,000 kilometers. Why is that? Because the average battery in the, in the industry in the Western world is ternary, whereas BYD's batteries are LFP. BYD is very comfortable with giving you a 500,000 kilometer battery warranty. So what does this mean? Well, lots of things have come together. Consumers have become more aware of the benefits of LFP. Some people do watch this channel and other channels like it, which explain those benefits to you. Tesla's talked about the benefits. Elon Musk has talked about the benefits. And then we've seen the downsides to the alternative chemistries. Even though, don't get me wrong, they're still perfectly fine and these battery fires are very, very rare. But that said, it's cost General Motors, Hyundai and LG Chem billions of dollars and who knows how many billions of dollars in brand damage. So I think much of the industry will continue to pivot to LFP batteries. In fact, I have been saying for many months now that I agree with Elon Musk that the answer to the challenges we face right now with getting enough battery supply, with reducing costs for electric cars so that the average person can afford them are all going to be solved and currently are being solved by simply using LFP batteries. So on that note, hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.